Well, this is your devotional for Wednesday, March 24th. And I just want to say hello to the Shoreline family and to friends and others that have started picking up and watching these Wednesday once a week devotional times. We're continuing to walk through the book of Proverbs. And today we're talking about looking at a passage and thinking about the power of our words. That the things we say are more powerful for good and more powerful for damage than we can imagine. So listen to these words from Proverbs chapter 12, verses 16 through 19. Fools show their annoyance at once with a prudent overlook and insult. An honest witness tells the truth, but a false witness tells lies. The words of the reckless pierce like swords, but the tongue of the wise brings healing. Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue lasts only a moment. Boy, if you, if you, if you could reflect on and think about those few couple of thoughts right there and actually let them shape your life, it would save you and I all kinds of misery in friendships, in marriage, and in lots of parts of life. Because a lot of the trouble we get in is when we're not being careful about this, this uh, slimy little tongue in our mouths and the words that we speak. And so a couple of insights from Proverbs chapter 12, verses 16 to 19. First, learn to ignore some things. Learn to ignore some things. I, mem- I memorized this passage in the Revised Standard Version. version and it was, uh, it was basically says, talks about how a wise person ignores an insult. Uh, a wise person doesn't respond. You know, the, the anger of a fool is known immediately. The anger of a fool is known at once. A wise person ignores an insult. There's something about holding back, not responding every time we're offended. It doesn't mean we don't deal with things, but, but boy, if, if we're a knee-jerk response, words, if, every, if every word that came to my mind came out of my mouth, I'd be in so much trouble you wouldn't. I mean, I've, I've learned through the years to keep my mouth shut. And I encourage you to, in those moments when you're annoyed and bothered, stop. And before you speak, say, Lord, are these the right words? Am I saying them the right way? Do I need to say them at all? There's wisdom there. A second lesson, to speak honest words. Verse 17, an honest witness tells the truth. People should trust you. People should say, oh, oh if you're talking to them, they're going to tell you the truth. Is that what people say about you? Do you walk in the truth and speak the truth? And then beware of reckless words that can pierce, that can cut the damage of our words. In verse 18, we read, the words of the reckless pierce like swords. Reckless words aren't just, oh, I'm blown off steam. It's not just, oh, that's just me. I always say what comes to my mind. We cut the hearts and souls and emotional lives of other people with our words when we're not careful. They pierce, they cut, they slash. They damage. And when the person we damage is our six-year-old daughter or our 15-year-old son or our spouse of five years, 10 years, or 60 years, our friend, but beware the power of harsh, thoughtless, mean-spirited words. And when you do find yourself lashing out, repent, tell God you're sorry, and go to the person and say, I'm so sorry for what I said. I'm going to try to do better in the future. I'm going to try to not Keep speaking that way. And really work at, at speaking words that bless. And that's, that's the next thing. Wise words heal and wise words bless. But the tongue of the wise brings healing. The tongue of a wise person brings healing. Are you wise? Do you speak words that reflect the scriptures and the heart of Jesus? If you do, you become a healer. You can bless and heal people who have been hurt by so many other words, maybe by your words at times. Would you pray and say, Lord, help me become somebody who looks for opportunities to speak words of blessing, words of life, words of encouragement, words of kindness, words that reflect the heart of Jesus. God, that's our prayer. If we have spoken words that are hurtful and have damaged others, teach us how to change. Let us have the courage to go back and to to, to restore those relationships. But God, we pray that we would be people who speak words of blessing, words of healing, words of edification, Words that encourage. Let, it, let our words be a source of healing and not like sword thrusts, but words of restoration to the souls of those who have been hurt by others. Let us become your instruments of grace and truth with our words. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, this Sunday we kick off a new series called Victorious. And this Victorious series, the very first week, we're going to talk about walking in victory over the enemy, that we have a very real spiritual enemy who wants to steal, kill, and destroy. But our God came to give life and life in the full. Join us this Sunday morning at 9 o'clock and 11 o'clock online. 
Both services will be identical. There'll be lives of the service in the courtyard. But then also, if you want to come on the courtyard or come to the drive-in service, we encourage you to register right away. Uh, we, are, we are seeing those services fill up more and more. If the weather is permitting, we will be here worshiping and then be praying about when you're ready to come back on campus, outdoors, or very, very soon after Easter for some indoor services. We invite you to come and join us. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of your week.